Hello folks, I am Georgios Papadopoulos and welcome to this video on collision scenarios in CSMA MAC protocol. In our previous video, we saw that CSMA can reduce the possibility of collision by sensing the shirt medium to detect the presence of carrier signal before transmitting a frame. However, CSMA cannot eliminate the collisions. Indeed, there are scenarios where the transmissions of two nodes may collide, even though the two nodes perform the carrier sense mechanism before transmitting their frames. Let us now see a few scenarios to understand why there might be a collision in CSMA. The first scenario is related with the simultaneous carrier sensing. For example, Two nodes perform the carrier sense mechanism and detect that the shared channel is either at the same time and therefore they both start frame transmission simultaneously. As a result, there might be a collision. Next, we have the hidden node problem scenario. Let's assume that there are three nodes A, B and C and each node comes with a propagation range that allows them to communicate only with their direct neighbors. More specifically, node A can communicate only with node B, node C can also communicate only with node B, while node B may communicate both with nodes A and C. However, nodes A and C cannot communicate with each other as they are out of range. These nodes A and C are known as hidden nodes. The problem is when nodes A and C not necessarily at the same time perform the carrier sense mechanism to detect that the shared channel is idle and start to transmit frames to the common destination node B. Because the nodes A and C cannot receive each other's signals, thus they cannot detect the collision before or while transmitting, collisions will occur. As a result, the node B receives corrupted frames. The last scenario is related with the propagation delay. Indeed, when a node transmits a frame, it still takes time, although very short, for the first bit to reach every node within the radio propagation and for every node to sense it. In other words, a node may sense the medium and find it idle only because the first bit sent by another node has not yet been received. Let's consider a network that consists of four nodes A, B, C and D. Then let's assume that at time T1 node B senses the shared medium and detects it idle, so it can transmit a frame. Then at time T2, where T2 larger than T1, node C senses the shared medium and detects it idle, thus it also transmits a frame. Why? Because at this time the first bits from node B have not reached node C, thus node C also sends a frame. As a result, the two signals collide and consequently both frames are destroyed. And that's all folks on collision scenarios in CSMA MAC protocol.